ladies and gentlemen, it is your bro, Beauty Guru, and your host for Wrestling With Beauty. Welcome to another edition of Ghetto Fried Cooking. Now today we are about to touch upon our Puerto Rican roots because it's that time of the season to make some coquito. So we've got our pot and we're going to get ready to show you all the ingredients which I have already sitting here. And we're just going to, I'm not going to tell you exactly what the measurements are because I'll be honest with you. It's kind of like a secret family thing, so I'm just gonna show you how I put everything in and then mix it all up together. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just take this can of cream of coco. Just open this up for you. So as you can tell, there is like a little bit of like thick coconut in there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this in the blender and kind of break it up so that it makes it easier to mix everything around. Hi guys. That's my brother Mel. This is Cameo. Cameo con mi hermano. How's it going? Yeah. I want to see your profit, baby. If you will. If you will. If you will. You want to dump that all in there? Mm. Yeah. Who don't like Goya crema de coco? Yeah, it's got to be the Goya or something. Pone yeah. tapa. Now the next thing we're going to do is we are going to add another one of coconut cream. I don't know why I didn't, you know, just do that in the first place, but I forgot I had two. So we're just going to mix this other one up for the day. is our coconut milk and I just got a big old jar of the Goya coconut milk and we're gonna just take that and we're just gonna dump that in there we go very nice try and hurt the cats and stuff like that because then you don't want any bugs or roaches or anything like that just come creeping in and be like yo yo quiero un provecho un poquito Next thing you know, you come wake it up in the next morning and you have a bunch of drunk roaches all over your kitchen. No bueno. So, we'll do that. Now, for the rest of it, we got two cans of condensed cream and three cans of evaporated milk. So, we're just going to shake these up a little bit. Go. Shake them up. Uh, you don't have to shake up the condensed milk, but what I recommend is, you know, just clean them up. Just clean the tops. Should be good. And then, what I normally do is, when it comes to cans of like liquid like this, cut one side and then cut the second side. And I'll show you in a second. It's all simple physics. The liquid will pour out of here and the air will go in there so it doesn't do that blip, 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 blip thing like you know when you're pouring like soda and stuff like that. So we're gonna put these three cans in and then we're gonna put in the condensed milk. So let's go. Now I got this particular brand of condensed milk for this reason. I hate having to turn the can just to open it. It just seems like more of a mess. This just makes things easier because all you have to do is just pop it open. There you go. Again, like I said, this is a family recipe. So this might not be how your mom or your grandma 
or your, you know, godmother make it, but this is how I was taught. This is how I've been making it for the last, ow, for the last eight years of my life, and I regret nothing. We're just gonna put some cinnamon to taste, basically until your ancestors go and say that one more. So we're just gonna kind of go in there with that. You know what? There we go. We're gonna put some of that. We're gonna put imitation vanilla. And we're gonna put in some ground clover. Okay, so now that we got everything in there, um, we have to put in the most important part, which is the liquor. So we're just gonna throw whatever's left of this bottle in there. I make mine very, very strong. So yeah. This is the, the whole point is that, you know, you, you sip this as you go. Okay, okay. Okay. They always judge me for being more Sorry! You make sure we use a clean ladle. So we're gonna use this to mix everything up together. Oh, who is it? Doesn't take much. As you can hear my brother in the background, we are arranging a wrestling show. So we're just gonna mix this. And it's not gonna take much to mix all of this because the acidity of the liquor is gonna help break down a little bit of the thick coconut cream. It's still mixing really nicely. I just want to blend in the dry spices, like the cinnamon, the clover, and of the little bit of vanilla that I put in there. Yeah, it's mixing up. I don't want to mix it up too nice because I like. Yeah, it's aesthetically pleasing to see the little bits of the cinnamon in it because then you know, bitch, put cinnamon. Get okay. that one little cinnamon. So. Mix this up a little bit more. I usually use a hand mixer, it makes it easier, but then, you know, you don't get like this really pretty like pattern of all the uh, cinnamon kind of just sitting on top and whatnot. So now that we've got that done, it's time to fill up the containers. Now I've got a couple. I've got these small ones that are going to be for sale for five dollars. We've got some bigger ones which are gonna be $10, and then we've got these big massive mamma jams which are gonna go for $20 each. So I'm gonna fill up the big ones first, then a couple of the $10 ones, and then the $5 ones, and then see how much I have left to kind of like split between everything. So first one we're gonna do is just a $20 holla. Put that in there, just fill it up nicely. And this is the only way to do it because there's no way I'm going to be able to lift this heavy thing, cover it over, and make sure it neatly pours into the bottle. This, you know, is relatively a cleaner way of doing it without spilling it all everywhere. It just reduces spillage and reduces any mess. First bottle filled, now we're just going to kind of clean it up. That's a pretty tight seal, I'm not even going to lie. Whatever is dripping is actually just the water I use to clean up the outside of the bottle. So, uh, yeah. I got these at Michael's. They were really, really cheap. They weren't that expensive. I just ran them through the washing machine to clean them and sanitize them so that, you know, I could be able to put the poquito in and nobody would get sick from any, like, germs or dust or coronas. 
So let's fill in the second one. And then I'll show you how I fill the other one. The only thing that's a little pricey is the coconut cream and the coconut milk because it's not really used that often unless you're doing like Thai dishes and Caribbean dishes that require coconut milk. So I'm very happy with how good they came out. I can't wait to make the second batch and they'll be done just in time for our wrestling show which link is going to be down below. Um, I'm the Rain Queen Lexa Rose. I will see you on my next tutorial. Gucci Gucci bitches.